Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about coding and qualitative data analysis. What is coding? Coding is the process of going through the data and coming up with labels and categories as a symbolic meaning to the information. A code is most often a word or short phrase that is applied to a section of data in order to easily categorize it. Data can consist of interview, transcripts, observations, notes, journals, documents, drawings, photographs, video, internet sites, literature, and many more. Codes can be based on keywords or themes or topics or concepts or terms that are repeated several times or actions or behaviors. Now, source of codes. We can have a priori codes that are retrieved from scientific articles or reports or theories or research question and variables within the question or our own intuition. Or we can have grounded codes that emerge from the data with no presumptions. What to code? We can code perspectives and we mean a participant views about a topic, as for example, clickers is a great thing. We can code experience, relating of a story by the participant, as for example, I find this boring, interesting, successful. We can code behaviors, the attitude, the conduct of the participant, bragging, cautious, curious, we can code activities, occupation, interest, hobby of the participant, like playing ball, registering in a MOOC, etc. We can code strategies, plan of action, the policy, the approach of the participant, as for example, negotiate, role play, repetition. We can code relationships and links, for example, family, boss, teacher, this is temporary. We can code interactions, and we mean communication, involvement, influence, etc. As for example, someone is messaging or agreement or competition. We can code conditions, the situation, the circumstances, the constraint, as for example, study online, lost a job. And we can code settings, the interview environment, university, workplace, etc. What are the steps of coding? First, if we have a transcript, we read the transcript or we view a video or we listen to the audio. For a transcript, we read it line by line and we consider big ideas and we take notes. Then we apply codes, and by codes we mean a label to a specific excerpt. Uh, this excerpt can be a word, a sentence, or a section of a text. And note that strings of text may contain more than one code. Then we structure codes, and we establish consensus on codes. We define parents' codes, child codes, we can create new codes by merging or combining two or more codes, we can drop codes, and then we'll have a code book which will refine our results. We can create a full reference version with detailed descriptions of each code and where and how each code has been used, what are the inclusion criteria and exclusion criteria. And also we can summarize results through an illustration like a mind map. Now for more details, you can check those references. Thank you for watching.